I got to play EA Sports College Football 25 early. And in this video, I'm going to share some gameplay details. I'm going to let you know how the game's playing. And I'll let you know when you can expect even more information. EA brought me down to the studios last week to get my hands on the game early so that I could get this information to you guys. And if you're new to the channel and you don't want to miss out on any of that further information from both myself and EA Sports, including official gameplay footage, make sure to subscribe and turn the bell icon on so you don't miss any of those videos. I'm trying to get to 600k subs before the release of this game. And if everybody watching just subscribe, we could hit that number in a few days. So let me first start by saying what I can talk about and what I can't talk about. So what I can talk about is my experience playing the game. I can kind of tell you what the gameplay is feeling like. I can dive a little bit deeper on some of the official features that EA has already released, but I can't go into certain specific details or features about things that EA has not released yet. I also can't really talk about game mode yet as EA is going to be releasing news on that very soon. And when they do, then I can dive deeper on those specific things. But but what I can say before we get into all of that is expect some big gameplay stuff tomorrow. That's going to be a really big day. I'm going to talk about gameplay in this video, but there's going to be way more detail coming tomorrow that I can really dive into. And in terms of game modes and presentation, things like Dynasty Mode, Road to Glory, and all that stuff, while I can't dive deep into those specific things today because EA said that they don't want us talking about that until they officially release that news themselves in the coming weeks, what I can say is this. While not disclosing specific features, features and things like that. If you are worried about the game modes and the immersion and the presentation being on the same level that Madden has been on the last few years, or if you're worried about those things not being as good or better as the old NCAA games, if you're worried about all of those things not delivering, what I would say is don't worry, they cooked. And I wish I could dive deep into some of those specific things today, but I will be able to very soon. But just know if you're worried about this being basically just Madden with college teams or this being half the game that NCAA 14 was, don't worry. You're not going to be disappointed. So let's start with how the game plays. Now, I was able to play the game for about three hours, me and some other people that were down there. And the first thing right off the bat is the thing that everybody wants to know. Does it feel like Madden? Is it just Madden's gameplay with college teams? And I don't think anybody down there that was playing felt that way. It definitely felt different from Madden. The same as the old NCAA games. The old NCAA games while they were on the same engine as Madden most years and while they did share gameplay animations NCAA always had a very unique feel and most people seem to prefer that to Madden and I would say the same thing is true with this game it does not feel like a Madden game number one it's way faster than Madden much like the old NCAA games were I believe one of the developers said it's about 30 percent faster than Madden which is a pretty big deal and I think a lot of that is just to mimic how high powered the offenses can be in college football how fast the game is now, it doesn't mean that the game is faster because all of the players are necessarily faster because the NFL, the average player is faster because the NFL is the top of the top. But why the college game feels faster is because there's a bigger discrepancy from the top players and the bottom players. You also a lot of times in college football see it's a more of a high scoring game. You see defenses struggle a little bit more in college. And that's kind of the case with this game. It feels like a very wide open, fast paced game. It feels very quick. If you've played Madden over the past few years, especially on the current gen consoles, the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X slash S, a lot of people would describe the Madden's gameplay as actually a little bit slower and a little bit sluggish at times. It definitely slowed down quite a bit when it moved to the newer consoles. The college game does not feel like that. The college game is very fast paced. You can make a lot of good moves on the left stick in the open field. You can score on a lot of big plays. And yes, at times, defense feels a little hard to play because of how high powered the offenses can be at times. The word I would use to describe the gameplay is just simply fun and that's objective of course that's my opinion some people might not think it's fun but to me the game being faster being quicker being a little bit more responsive is fun to me whereas Madden at times feels a little bit more restrictive and just a little too slow for my liking now it is true that both games do share quite a bit of the same animations much like the old college games do however I am happy to report that the college game definitely has a lot of new animations now I'm not sure if some of those are going to also transfer over to Madden, but 
some of them won't and the biggest example of this of course is the one foot inbound catches there's a ton of animations for stuff like that obviously that's not going to translate over to madden because it's kind of useless there as you need two feet inbounds for it to be a catch in madden but even outside of that definitely notice just new animations overall and i would expect madden to have some of those new ones as well but of course you're going to still see some of the same tackle animations you've seen in madden you're going to see some of the same catch animations you've seen in madden i don't really think that's something that should be a surprise again since the older games shared animations as well but the college game definitely feels uniquely different and again everybody that was there playing felt the same way i didn't run into a single person that says ah this feels a little too much like madden it just doesn't now i'm going to continue on and dive a little bit deeper into some of the specifics here but really quickly i do want to shout out today's video sponsor underdog fantasy if you like sports and you like winning money then you've got to be on underdog fantasy playing their pick em game basically all you have to do is pick higher or lower on a wide variety of player stats and if they hit you can win some big money but the best part about underdog fantasy is when you sign up they're going to give you some free money to play with and they're also going to give you a free play right out the gate so during the nba playoffs they're going to give you a guy like anthony edwards or jason tatum each night and all they have to do is get a single point and if you sign up using my promo code ray ray they'll also give you up to 250 dollars in bonus cash to play with and you just can't beat that so let's talk about the stuff we can talk about. So on EA's blog a few weeks ago, they did talk about some specific gameplay details, and I can dive a little bit deeper on those as they have been officially released. But again, tomorrow, expect some more big news and I'll be able to dive even deeper. So let's talk about Campus IQ, which is the name for the feature set that EA is bringing this year with college football. Now, is this kind of just another gimmick we've seen with Madden sometimes? Sometimes these things can affect the gameplay in good ways. Sometimes they're a little gimmicky. I'll say from all the stuff that I played, this actually really changes the way you play football, at least an EA football game. In my opinion, it's got some really cool things in there that actually make you have to manage your team on the field in ways that Madden has just not had maybe ever, honestly, or anytime recently recent so one of the things that ea did mention a couple of weeks ago when they talked about the wide open and fast paced gameplay they mentioned player ratings that fluctuate throughout the game and they also mentioned new in-game passing mechanics now i can't dive deep into how the passing mechanics work but i will say this because they have revealed already that there are new in-game passing mechanics the passing mechanics in college football are different than madden and that's definitely been something that a lot of people have been critical of with madden over the years is that the passing can always use work more so in terms of like ball trajectory the ball sometimes comes out too low and you can't really put the ball in certain spots drop it into the bucket as good as you would like to it's definitely gotten better over the years over the past few years they've definitely made this better than it was before but i will say the passing system from college is not what we've been using in previous madden games and it is a hundred percent better than the passing mechanics from the previous madden games and this is just another example of how the gameplay is different from madden aside from the faster quicker gameplay aside from feeling like you have a little bit more control aside from having some different animations in the game and different plays and playbooks you also have a passing system that is different than madden which makes throwing the ball feel different than it does in madden and in my opinion it feels better than madden when it comes to passing the ball this is something i'm a big fan of and i can't wait to dive deeper on it in terms of playbooks and plays and things like that i don't think i can dive too deep on that because they're going to reveal more information but what i can say is i got to check out a number of the playbooks and the time that i was on the game all the stuff that you expect to be there is there the way these teams play in real life their playbooks from what i could see reflect that in the game the option and the triple option is really good really powerful as expected the rpos are very good and powerful as expected and dare i say they're kind of annoying too to go against at times but that's college football they're annoying for those defenses to go against in real life too and if anything these things work a lot better in college than they do in the nfl because of the talent gap and things like that and a lot of teams base their offenses around you know certain option styles or a lot of rpo stuff so that is present here and you're gonna feel the power of that stuff in this game now, I will say the one thing I didn't like really, because there's always going to be something, no matter how much you like a game, there's always going to be some aspect of it that you're not a fan of. I wasn't crazy about the ball carrier moves. I don't feel that the ball carrier moves were as powerful as I'd like them to be or as powerful as I remember them being in some of the older NCAA games and even some recent Madden games. However, though, what I will say is the left stick is really good. It's very responsive. So if you're good at making those stops at the right time, making those manual cuts and just knowing how to maneuver a player, you don't really even need the ball carrier moves that much because with the fast pace, 
plays, gameplay, and how responsive and quick the left stick is, you can manually make people miss. You can make a lot of moves. You can make a lot of good cuts with the player. And also kind of what goes with this is I found tackling to be pretty hard in this game. Landing hit sticks were definitely hard. Even just tackling at times was pretty hard because of how fast the game is. So the timing and everything really has to be pretty precise or, you know, you're going to miss tackles and the offensive guy is going to make you kind of look silly, which again, some people might really love that. Some people might hate that. Some people don't like when tackling is hard. This definitely is going to be an adjustment in terms of just how fast the game is being able to make tackles and hit sticks and also on offense. It's going to be a little bit easier at first, I think, to get off those big plays. And you'll definitely feel the power of those top end athletes. A good example of this would be Jalen Milrow from Alabama. When I was playing with them and I would take off running with Milrow, you feel that top end speed. You feel the acceleration and just how he kind of picks up that speed pretty quickly, accelerates and can pull away from the defense and just how quickly he's able to kind of stop and make people miss. And again, especially with how fast the gameplay is and how difficult it is to tackle if you're not a good user, you really feel the power of somebody like a Jalen Milrow because he's that much harder to tackle than a lesser guy because he's just so quick and so shifty. And to kind of go along with that, scrambling with the QBs, all of that felt really good. Again, something I like about the college game, you definitely see those fast QBs, guys like Jaden Dan, Daniels last year they can take off and they can run for big yards every game because they're just that fast they're that shifty they're that electric and what I did like about this game in the limited time that I got to play it is the old line also felt pretty good the pocket formation felt pretty good I felt like I was able to climb the pocket more times than not and if you're not putting spies on the field and you're not accounting for fast QBs you're able to take off quite often and get big yards in the open field if you're not putting spies and stuff like that on the field to watch for those guys you're gonna pay more times than not because the blocking especially for some of the better teams it's going to hold up a little bit longer the pocket's going to be there you can step up find those running lanes and really make some big plays with these qbs I did also find that the broken tackles were pretty frequent in this game. I don't know if that's something they plan on tuning. Obviously, we do see a lot of broken tackles in real college football, but I did feel that the broken tackles were a bit too high, in my opinion. I was seeing them a little bit too often. I definitely, if there was one really big critique I would have for this game is to balance the broken tackles a little bit. But again, the game is still a few months away. That type of stuff can very easily be tuned if they see fit. Now, another thing EA mentioned a couple weeks ago was the wear and tear system. And it said with the new wear and tear system as the hits add up players wear down you have to manage your players health limit their fatigue assess the risk of injury and avoid on-field mistakes by using strategic substitutions to ensure your players are at their best when it counts the most so again i can't break this down completely in depth just today more on that tomorrow but this definitely affects the gameplay and this is not just a simple fatigue system if you're thinking that this is basically just a fancy way of wording fatigue as it is in madden where hey you know you've run the ball with a guy for three plays you got to sub him out and put the backup running back in or you're no huddling down the field and some of your skill position players are now a little fatigued this is not that this is a legit wear and tear system the hits your players take matter if you overuse your players that matters and you have to monitor this or you will risk injury to certain body parts this is actually a very unique way of playing football that we really haven't seen in an ea game at least to my knowledge you have to really manage your team on field with this wear and tear system this isn't a game where you can just kind of do anything you want and not have to account for what your players are going through you're going to absolutely have to account for that stuff or you're going to risk losing them now i'm not really sure how this is going to be implemented for online play i think this is definitely going to be a bigger thing for dynasty play i think it will probably be be an online play as well but this is definitely something that's going to take an adjustment because a lot of people are used to just kind of doing whatever they want in the game you know taking as many hits as they want abusing a player over and over and over you're really gonna have to take a lot of stuff into account now and that's what i like about this game and again why it's not the same as madden because you don't have to do this in madden this game how it's different than madden on field aside from the fact that it's faster and again like has some different passing mechanics it's just a lot of these little things that aren't present in madden that you have to monitor and you have to account for so it just completely changes your whole approach to how you're going to play a game you have to be more strategic with the college game because there's systems in place that make you have to be more strategic and if you're not you're going to suffer because of it now another thing that ea did mention weeks ago was home field advantage and it said specifically that there's game altering home field advantages that rattle your rivals in college football's toughest places to play it said test your squad's road game composure and confidence level as you play through distractions like screen shaking missing pre-play icons and moving play art so of course if you've played these games you're familiar with this and the old ncaa games you're familiar 
familiar with it even in Madden as they have a version of this but again what I will say about this is it's just better in college football mainly because the crowds are better the thing with Madden is the crowds are never really alive the game doesn't feel too alive the audio isn't the greatest at least in my opinion but with college the crowds feel alive home field advantage actually feels like it matters and again as it said on their blog this is going to alter the road game composure and that is another thing that is present in this game is composure now again I'll be able to dive deeper on this probably tomorrow but composure is a thing in this game and you know just along with the wear and tear and those other things it's another level of monitoring your team that just isn't really present in Madden and they also mentioned here about the toughest places to play if you're familiar with the old NCAA games you remember there were the 25 toughest places to play and also in this same blog from weeks ago they even specifically mention when speaking on the pageantry and traditions and the crowd and things like that they said there's synchronized crowd chants there's loudness meters as well as real game day audio and fight songs so this goes hand in hand with that home field advantage yes the loudness meter is back in the game which is something we know from the old games where you kind of pump up the crowd and this is especially a big deal in those toughest places to play and the road team does get a little bit more rattled it's a little bit harder to play as an away team the composure does come into effect and we've already seen them talk about ratings can fluctuate based on a number of different things how your players are performing composure is one of those things that's going to play into this so really tying this all together here and how it's different from Madden aside from just feeling a little bit different is that at every level you have to monitor your team a lot more and you have to be very aware of what's going on and you have to fight through some different things here that if you've been playing EA games as of late you just haven't had to deal with that type of stuff so if you're going to approach this how you've approached maybe playing Madden over the past five to ten years you're going to be in for a surprise because it's just not that type of game all in all the game feels very electric it's very fun I really Really don't foresee too many people being disappointed in this game there's always going to be somebody that's disappointed you can't please everybody that's impossible but I just can't foresee people being disappointed with this game overall I think from what I learned about the game and what you guys will learn more and more over the next few weeks and what I got to play of the game to me they delivered to me the wait was well worth it the game was extremely fun and again if you're worried about the game not being as good as the old games or if you're worried about the game being way too similar to current Madden again Again, I would tell you don't worry because they cooked there's really not much in this game that you could want that isn't there there are a couple specific things that might not be there which we will talk about soon but they're not really deal breakers in my opinion almost anything you could want down to some of the very minute details are in this game and once you find out just all what is in this game I think you're going to be even more excited for it now if you want a sneak peek of some of the little things that EA snuck in their recent trailer that you might have missed make sure to check out this video right here on the screen